Hello there, my name is Sibrin and I'm going to show the new version of the Blender Cloud add-on. So with the latest changes in the Blender Cloud you can not only create your own projects but you can also create your own texture library. So today I'm going to show you how that's done and how you see that in the Blender Cloud add-on. First make sure that you have the latest version of the add-on. At this moment that's version 1.1. You can download it from cloud.blender.org slash services where you have the texture browser add-on version 1.1. So we download that. So once we have downloaded and installed those, we can go to my projects. There you see some other projects I already created, but for this I will create a brand new project. Let's give it a name. Demo project, you can see I've done that before. go to project and now look at that we can create a texture folder as you can see the texture is grayed out that means you can't edit here the texture can only exist within a texture folder so we create that first give it a name yay textures and then we save the changes here you have our texture folder and now we can create a texture so let's add a brick texture because these are the files that I have. As you can see, it consists of a bump map, a color map, and a small uh, thumbnail. So the thumbnail we select for picture. Then we wait for it to process. Click add new file because we're going to add two files. First one will be the color map and the second one will be the bump map. Once it's done uploading, we can save the changes. And there you have a brick texture. Now let's go to Blender. Maybe you remember this setup from the last video. I've already set up the materials here, but as you expect, we have no textures yet. So let's download them with Control Shift Alt A, our awesome, awesome hotkey. And here you see all the projects that I created that were shared with me. Uh, for example, Fraca Stream is a project by Pablo that he was friendly enough to share with me. Textures is the old public texture library that you could browse before. So everything that was there is still here. And here is our demo project that we just created. So with the brick, with the uh, thumbnail that we selected. And everything has been downloaded. So as you can see here, the textures were not only downloaded to disk, but also loaded into Blender. And we can select them in the material. There you go. So as you can see, the uh, add-on created a texture directory. Within that, the project, the texture folder, and inside that, the texture files themselves. So that's it. Thank you for watching.